Hey everyone, my name is Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. I am a part-time knit and crochet designer and podcaster and a full-time elementary school teacher living just outside of Dallas, Texas. I'm excited to share with you a weekend in my life as I knit and crochet and go about doing all of the ordinary life things that one does in the weekend. So grab your project and something to drink and enjoy. Good morning you guys you're probably gonna hear toaster <laughs> crunching on his food in the background it's a little bit early in the morning it's almost 8 a.m oh what was that <laughs> i think something just fell in the laundry room um so i will go check on that in a second um but it is saturday morning i am really excited to take you guys along on this weekend vlog with me i will come back on later and kind of tell you what some of my project goals are for today but right now on the weekend I really just like to start off the day nice and easy I come down and I get my breakfast and my coffee and then I go back and get in bed my husband sleeps later than I do he actually stays up a lot later than I do and sleeps later so um, usually he's sleeping in the bed and I will go back get in bed with my coffee and my project and like watch some tv or youtube in bed and it's like the highlight of my weekend like such a luxury i love it so much so that's what we're gonna do here first and then i will come back on later kind of tell you what we have going on for the rest of the day i asked on instagram if you had any questions for me about knitting or just life in general and i got some really great ones so i'm going to be answering those throughout the video today the first question is from Bailey68, and they asked, how many hours do you knit on an average day? Of course, every day varies, as does the week to week and even season to season. But on an average day, I probably knit or crochet two to three hours. I'm almost always knitting while doing something else, which helps me get more knitting done. And I will bring it with me anywhere. So if I'm sitting, I am working on a project. I decided I better try on my top to see how it was fitting so let me flip around the camera and i will show you all right so i have definitely changed a lot of things about this top it's supposed to be super fitted it's supposed to have waist shaping that comes in and then out but i have not done that at all you can see that it's actually really big <laughs> i might have overdone it just a little bit but honestly i'd rather it be looser than tighter so there that's better sorry so yeah it's pretty it's pretty oversized here um so i am just going to continue doing a-line increases because i thought maybe i could stop increasing now and it would fit comfortably but i think this circumference once it gets down to like my hips and stuff is going to be a little too tight so i'm just doing really subtle increases every like seven rounds so i just did a round of increases so the next one will be like way further down. So actually this should be great. Um, and it won't look like too big, I hope. I really hope. I don't know. I never know. Um, but at least up here, it's like fitting really nicely. So yeah, I think it's looking good. Later today or maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna figure out like how many rows I have left so I can kind of make a plan to get this done soon. <laughs> well, by the end of the month probably, so. Yep, looking pretty good. Now it's time to get fully ready for today, so let's do that. On the weekends, I love to make basically a second breakfast that kind of acts as our lunch. Today I decided to make some eggs since I was feeling super hungry for something hearty. I think it's a great time to answer another question, and this one is from WizKim101. They asked, how do you keep your house slash personal slash crafting slash relationships balanced? So the truth is that I'm not super great at this, especially when it comes to the relationship side of things. I am super driven, and when I decide that I'm going to do something, I go after it full force no matter what. What has helped me has been a lot of open communication with my husband, talking about our goals and our needs. 
I think it's important to know that balance doesn't look like equal time spent in every area of your life. Balance to me means that some days your focus is business while others it's health or some days you're spending all day on the couch with your loved ones. I could really talk about this all day if I had time, but just know that sometimes we're in a season, sacrifices might have to be made, but it all balances out in the end. What you doing? You're having a nice morning? All right, don't tell us then. So now that I've had my second breakfast and I've got my second cup of coffee right here, I think I can hear my husband coming down the stairs because it's getting close to 10 a.m. and today is the first day of college football. It's Labor Day weekend, so we're super excited. I think we're going to probably go to a friend's house later today and watch some football. But let me just kind of show you the projects that I have going on and some just goals that I have for this weekend. So the first is I am trying to finish this pair of socks that I started, I don't even remember, but I'm filming a tutorial. So all throughout the week I've been working on them and then I'll like have to stop at a certain point and wait for the next day for it to be sunny and have light and do my tutorial. So that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and film the next part of the tutorial. So going from the heel to the foot and then I will be able to take this with me and just like work on the foot, work on the foot until I get to the toe when I need to film again. So. I would really like to finish that sock, that pair of socks by the end of the weekend, which I guess we could say is Monday because it's Labor Day weekend. Um, and then the other thing I'd really like to do, I don't know if this is possible. I mean, it is, but I have other stuff going on too. If I just had time to knit, I want to finish the bottom band of my Weekender Light, which is a sweater. Um, I just started it uh, last weekend. So for both, I've got both bands started. I think one needs to be two and a half inches, one needs to be like three and a half, so that's quite a bit of knitting. So if I can get that done, then I can join it, the body, and then use my other size needle. I think I'm using a four. And then I will have these needles free. These are size two needles, so I can actually cast on my September socks. I can't cast these on until I have my size two needles. Those are the only two that I have. So that would be really nice if I can get that done. And then of course, I'm probably gonna work a little more on that uh, incendiary tank you saw me working on. And then one other thing is I really just, I don't know why this is so hard for me. I think it's cause it takes so much mental energy and I just use a lot of my mental energy for my job and other creative projects. And then when it comes to design, it's just like on the back burner. I need to come back to my crocheted cozies. I've already got one finished. I've got another one somewhere else that's like ribbed. And then I was gonna do this one and try to do some cables. So if I can get to work on that, I don't think I'm gonna do it today, maybe tomorrow, that would be really, really great. So those are kind of my goals for the weekend. I typically go into every week, month, weekend, I don't know. I always have like goals and things that I want to get done. Obviously, since this is knit and crochet, it's like, if it's, it's okay if it doesn't get done. Um, so. This morning here, I have some things to do before we leave the house. I need to finish up some cleaning that I started yesterday. So I might show you a little bit of that um, and just let you see like what that part of my life is like. Um, but other than that, yeah, just going to be hopefully hanging out with friends, watching football and bringing along my knitting. The project that I'm going to bring is definitely this because I can work on it and pay attention to football and then also my socks. So let me finish up my tutorial. I'll kind of show you my setup and I will finish up that part of the tutorial so that I can just bring those socks along with me. So this is how I've been filming tutorials lately. I make my tripod really short and I put this little tray um, on this ottoman. Oh my goodness, some loud noises. What are y'all doing? We're playing. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Filming something? Oh, I'll be right back up, okay? Uh, oh my goodness. Anyway, so I have this here to be the background. I just find like white really hard to do and this works really well. And then I have it here because then I can be 
by the window and get natural light, although I do have the overhead light on too. So yeah, I just pop my phone in right here and then I have to basically like crouch down and I wrap both arms like around. It's really awkward, like it's super awkward. I wish I could film it and show you, but I need, I need my camera to film. Anyway, so I'm gonna film the next part of this real quickly and then go hang out with Kent and Toaster. Susie Beth 63 asked, what are your favorite sock needles? My favorite needles are these that I'm using, the Chai Gu Red Lace Circular Needles. I use a US size 1, 2.25 millimeter in the 32 inch length, and I like to knit my socks one at a time via the magic loop method. On the weekends, I usually spend a couple of hours cleaning just because I fall behind during the week. And I also spend a lot of time filming to create videos for my two channels. Now this weekend, I was able to double up because I was filming a clean and decorate video. Here's a little peek into what my lifestyle channel, This and That, looks like. It's all about organization, cleaning, and productivity. Later, I'll share some clips from our Halloween decor. And if you feel like this kind of inspiration is just what you need, head to this and that link down below because I have tons of similar videos on my channel. Organization was my first passion, even before knitting, and it's so much fun to have a creative outlet for both. Hi there. What are you doing? I'm toaster. Now that I was all done cleaning, it was time to head into Dallas to watch football and spend some time with friends. Of course, I brought my projects with me. I wanted to work on both my sock and my weekender light. We had a great time watching the game and grilling out on our friend's gorgeous balcony. The view was absolutely amazing. Happy Sunday. This is the second day of the vlog and it's gonna be another great day. I've got laundry going, my coffee is going. I'm about to pour some coffee and head upstairs back into the bedroom. That's seriously my favorite way to start the day. Um, today, I would like to be more focused on getting some knitting crochet done because while I did do some yesterday, we have spent a lot of time out of the house this weekend because sports have started back up. So we were watching hockey on Friday night with friends and then football yesterday with friends. And I do knit while I'm there, but it's just not the same as when I'm at home. Plus I want to be able to, at home I can do things that I need more concentration, like my pattern. So hopefully that's what today will bring. Other things going on today, priority, decorate for Halloween. <laughs> that's going to be a video over on my other channel all or this and that and then also i'm going to give a kitchen tour so if you want to see that as well um make sure you're checking out this and that that is my lifestyle cleaning and organization channel um and also instagram so anyway i'm gonna get my coffee and probably some cereal we might make some breakfast later probably because i'm gonna be hungry it's only it's not even eight o'clock like it's only 7.40, so I'm probably gonna be hungry between now and lunch anyway. So let's get some knitting and head upstairs. 
So with my coffee and knitting in hand, we are back to the best tradition of the weekend, which is knitting in bed. All right, so now I have put my contacts in and my mascara on and I got my second cup of coffee. So I'm gonna sit down here I'm down in my like office slash yarn room and I'm gonna do some computer work for probably about an hour um, on the weekends. If I don't do some computer work on the weekends, like just like life stuff, then Monday mornings feel really, really stressful because I feel like I need to like catch up from everything that happened over the weekend. So yeah, I usually do it on Sunday. It just kind of depends. So I can kind of get into like a time warp of doing stuff. So I like to set timers. So the things that I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to do our budget. That does not take very long at all. Just catch up from things that we've done this weekend. I am going to catch up on emails. I have three email accounts that I check regularly. So I'll do like a 10, 15 minute timer for each one. Probably not actually. My main one, I usually just end up deleting a lot of like coupons and stuff. <laughs> that doesn't take very long. And then I... There's probably some things I might purchase this morning. I'm looking at some like vitamins because I need some vitamins and um, some cleaning products. So I like, need to like research and make some decisions on those. So that's what I'm going to sit here and do this morning. Fun stuff, right? But if I like set timers, like if I say, okay, I'm going to spend an hour doing this, but then I'm going to spend like 15 minutes just on this thing and this thing. And I might do some social media like comments and stuff too. But look, I've done lots of knitting this morning. I didn't put, I didn't move my marker, but I think I was somewhere right here. So I've done a decent amount. I am two thirds of the way through the foot. I just need to do like 20 more rounds and then I can do the toe. So I need to grab a little more footage of me knitting on the foot for my tutorial. And then of course, when I get to the toe, I will film that too. And then this will be done. The sock will be done. The tutorial will be done. I'll just have to edit it. So that's really, really good. So let me knock out some of this maintenance admin stuff here and then maybe we can get to some more fun things well that was a little more time than i had planned for but i did get a lot done this morning i got all of my computer stuff like caught up and i was able to order the things that i needed did some social media uh, i also filmed some stuff so i got another little clip for my socks which are going so well i really do think i can finish these today and then I filmed a video for my other channel on my home organization binder. So go over there and check that out if that's something that you're interested in. So it's on, it's like noon, I think almost, or 11.30. And so what I like to do on Saturdays or Sundays sometimes is cook like a brunch breakfast and we just have it for lunch. So that's what I'm gonna go do next, have a little bit of relaxing time again and you know, I always like to mix in work and relaxation. So a little bit of relaxing time, watch some YouTube and um, do some stuff in the kitchen. So while we're cooking, it seems like the perfect time to answer more questions from Instagram. Create Don't Consume asks, is there ever a time when you are too stressed to knit? There definitely is. I feel like I don't always identify it as stress, but there are times when I'm overwhelmed from work or just so mentally exhausted at the end of the day, I just wanna lie on the couch and watch TV. That doesn't happen often though, cause usually I want to knit at every opportunity. So I know that if my desire is just to lay there and watch TV, I should listen to my body and get some rest. So I go to sleep early and work on reducing my stress by taking some things off of my plate. So we are about to film a kitchen video got my mic on and the kitchen all tidied up so I can show it off on my other channel. And I'm just waiting on Kent, he's finishing something up and then he's gonna come help me and film with me, which is really exciting. So, so far today, it's always like this. Not as much knitting as I wanted to do, but we're getting the stuff done that is necessary so that um, later in the evening is the time when I can like relax and stuff. So even though it's a weekend, still gotta do some work, um, but yeah. So about to get that done and then hopefully still do some Halloween decorations. 
All right, so you might have seen yesterday that I was in a swimsuit, but we never actually got to go into the pool because by the time we arrived at our friend's house, it was raining. So Kent and I decided <laughs> that we are going to finally try the pool in our neighborhood. We've lived here for almost two years. It's September right now. We moved here in it's September, 2020. We moved here in November of 2018 and we've never been to the pool. So we decided we're gonna try it. He's already down there. So I am going to go join them. I have my Kindle and my sunscreen and a lot of water. So should be fun again. We'll get back to the knitting. Oh, we did film. Ken helped me film my kitchen tour video. So hopefully when we come back, we can um, film some Halloween. I'm really, really excited about that. So the day did not go exactly as planned. Definitely didn't do all the knitting I wanted to, but we are about to watch a hockey game. So I'm gonna see if I can't get more of this sock done to the foot. And then I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to do the toe. Um, so maybe after that, if I do finish the foot of the sock, I can get out my um, crocheted cozy and work on that a little bit. So maybe I'll get to show that to you, but I will check back in with you. We're gonna have dinner and do a little bit of knitting during the game. The things that we'll do, cause I, 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 I wanna drive through the summer night and we'll be, be, be. You know, I really do just have the best intentions for my day when it starts and it rarely goes according to plan. So I don't think that my brain tonight, it's already 9 p.m. and that is just late for me. I don't think that I'm gonna be able to work on my crocheted cozies, but the saving grace is that there is one more day to this weekend. It's just not part of the vlog. So come back for the podcast and see if I got anything done on these this week. I, I really, really need to, but I thought what might be fun is to sit here and figure out if I want to finish my Weekender Light and my um, incendiary tank by the end of September, what would I need to do every week, every day in order to get that done? So I've got my iPad here and a pen and a notebook and I'm gonna sit here and try to figure that out. When I'm trying to schedule out my knitting, I will start by writing out how much I need to do. Then I will divide that work over the time period that I want to finish it in. And if I want to get really specific, I can even calculate the number of rows I would need to do each day to reach that goal. For my incendiary tank, I knew that 19 rows would make four inches. And with six days left of this week, that would mean I would need to crochet about three rounds per day. This is definitely a little more ambitious. So I don't know if this is gonna happen in three and a half weeks, but I can plan it out at least to see if it's possible and then just go from there and keep shifting stuff as needed. Okay, that was actually really fun. I find it encouraging to kind of see things laid out in a plan that while I'm not gonna feel like I have to do that or like restrict myself to it, it makes it feel a lot more doable. So will this happen? Well, you know, if we're going off of how things have gone the past two days, then definitely not, <laughs> but I can at least try. So I've got this, I'll probably tear this out, put it on my calendars above my desk, just so I can kind of look at it every day. Nothing is going to happen if I don't get this done. It's just, I don't know. It's just, like I said, it very encouraging for me. And I have gotten uh, some requests to kind of break down how I do this. And this is exactly how. So uh, the weekend or light, the way I decided to do it is go going over five weeks here. So I figured this week I can probably finish up that ribbing and do the first five inches of the body. 
maybe the next week I can do 10 inches on the body. I don't know, that's a lot of knitting, we'll see. And then if I can do the front and the back, the last full week of September, and then that like half week of September, the 27th that goes into October, one sleeve because you can't underestimate sleeves. They take a while. And then the first week of October, full week of October, sleeve number two. That would be really, really good for me. So we shall see. And at the same time, doing the incendiary tank and other things that I have going on. So maybe, maybe. Um, but that was fun to do. So there is one more period of this hockey game where I am going to go work on my um, weekend or light. I am, let's see, one, two, three, four, five just one row away from being ready to do the toe on this sock. So I am calling that good. I'm leaving it down here so that I can finish up the tutorial and finish that tomorrow. So you should see that on the podcast this week. And I'm gonna go start working. You know what, I better tear this out. I'm gonna go start working on my uh, goal for this week to finish that ribbing on my weekender. All right, you guys, I'm here in bed. I am so excited to go to bed before well it's almost 10 o'clock i think right now but it's been two late nights for me so i'm really excited i'm actually going to do something that is something i would never normally do but since it's a holiday weekend i am going to watch some tv and i brought my knitting in bed i also have some tea so i'm just gonna hop into bed get all cozy and do a little knitting probably for like 10 minutes before I get too tired to continue do it, doing that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekend vlog and got to see lots of different things and got your questions answered. Um, I love doing these. So if you want more, let me know and I will see you guys on Thursday with another podcast episode. Bye!